Uh, you keep, you guys keep going for these heavy ass poems. <laughs> what about the one where you can't check your memories in the shoebox? Oh, okay. <laughs> a love poem then. All right. This is called uh, Amusing My Muse. You ever, uh, you ever met somebody and it doesn't feel like you met them? You're like, oh, there you are. That kind of instant click you get with a person sometimes. Not necessarily romantic all the time, you know. I think soulmates can be of the same gender. It's just somebody whose soul happens to match yours. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic thing. But in any case, that's what this poem is about. When I'm... <clears throat> All right. When I met you, it w wasn't like I met you. It was more like I remembered. The delicate harmonies of your voice and the subtle cadence of your speech transported me to a long-lost, distant memory, perhaps even from a previous life, of someone that I must have loved already. You reminded me of things I didn't know I had forgotten. Things that up until this moment I would have sworn were impossible, but you've got me questioning everything. Everything. And I'm learning. I'm learning that under the right conditions, I can fly. I can move through walls. I can push my pen across the surface of the page with my mind to write things that I hope amuse my muse. Things like, you're every color's favorite hue. You're an autumn mountain view. You're a crossword puzzle clue, a wind chime's favorite tune. You're like a brand new pair of shoes. I mean, I want to walk with you. I want to write poems on every mirror in your house so when you look into them, you see what I see. I want to tap your sense of humor so I can drink your laughter from a cup and get drunk on your silly. Let me get inebriated on your most intimate ideas. Allow me to be the goblet that you pour yourself into. It is not enough to exist as a part of your life. I need to participate in your existence. Because every morning I wake up with your song on my lips and your name on my pillowcase. You're in the fibers of every muscle. I stretch my arms extended, reaching out for you. You're like my first sip of coffee. You make me alert. My mind's breakfast, nourishment for good mornings, and I can't think of any better way to start my day. Last night, I had a dream that I was chasing you through the empty hallways of an old hotel, listening for your giggles around corners as I navigated the corridors, following the trail of love letters that fell out of your pockets, and when I caught you, you handed me a notebook of blank pages and ran off again, leaving me counting backwards from ten, singing, Catch me if you can! So I set my snares and baited my hooks within its pages, poetry poised, ready to pounce on you! But words just don't seem worthy of you these days. So instead, I leave treasures mounted to walls that only you would think to hunt for. Only you could know their value, verbal trinkets for you to add to your collection, vintage memories we haven't yet created, and somehow the shoebox that we keep them in is already overflowing. It's taking both of us to force the lid down, and even that's barely working. Every phone call is another love note on a napkin. Every message is a ticket stub for a movie we haven't seen. Every spoken word between us falls perfectly into place, building something we have no definition for. Some Something so beautiful that neither of us understand it, but like a flower that blooms in the shade, though the odds are against us, we flourish. Our roots grow stronger, longer, uprooting the cobblestones of the paths we once walked together. Yes, the paths we once walked together. This isn't the first time that I've loved you. It just can't be. I told you. I remember. All right, let's take an intermission.